I'm going to show you how to display the line items for vendors with a few of the app and transaction code in SAP S4 HANA system. My name is Nuno Dias and I've been working with SAP since 2001 with my main focus in finance area. I work as an SAP FICO contractor. In case you want to reach me out for projects, please find my LinkedIn ID in the description of this video. If you are just now reaching to this channel, its name is SAP at a glance and the aim is to share SAP knowledge. Therefore, do not forget, please subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. Back in the ECC version, it was very popular to use the transaction code FBL1N to display the open items or cleared items of the vendors. Now using the Fiori app, SAP has created an exclusive Fiori app called Manage Supply Line Items do, to do exactly the same thing, but much better. And now without any further ado, let's start and let's go to the system. Now we are in the SAP GUI menu. So basically to go to the transaction code to display line items or to display open or cleared items, we have this menu paths here, FBL1N. When we double click, we have the supplier accounts and we have the company codes. We have the option here to add more fields for our selection screen options. You can explore if you have the time. So for us, for our example today, I'm going just to put this, check what open items I want also only normal items and I'm going to click and press to execute. So here uh, it's showing me that I have, that these invoices are overdue. We have not paid yet. And then if I go one step back, so I choose here all items and then this is going to give me a view of my vendor. So I haven't paid yet most of the invoices because we are in this means open. So it's open open item in red and then the square needs means cleared. If I want to add more information here in the screen, this should be known by you, but I can go here and I can choose, for instance, company codes. I want to put there and then I click here. Company code is there. I copy and then I have the company codes in the screen. So if I want to export this to Excel, I need to go there to list, save and then save. And then we choose text with tabs and so on. This is known by you for sure. Now I wanted to show you the Fiori app. And then we can compare both of the uh, options that SAP provides if you are not using an exclusive cloud solution that you have only the Fiori Launchpad. So SAP created this um, Fiori app, this tile here called Manage Supply Line Items. You know that we can move this in here, okay? Manage Supply Line Items. So what I said in the beginning, this is an exclusive Fiori app uh, it means that it's a SAP Y5 app, which means that this app is not available or is not an emulation of the SAP we as many apps we have here. So an exclusive of the Fiori uh, launchpad. So basically here, uh, I have this information. I can press and I can go. So my company codes, I want to see open items and then the company code is showing me here the open items. So if I want, I'm going to get the same vendor. So we have less information in the screen. Okay. Now uh, I want to show all items. Go. And then what I'm going to get is I have a square. That means cleared. And then the icon is different. That means open. Do is this symbol. Here I have more information. Here I have more information. We are going to see it later. And then in the selection screen options, we have also the option of to choose what items we want to see it. We were seeing normal items. Uh, adapter filter means that we can add more information to our selection. For example, I'm going to click here in account type. And then I'm going to click to show you that the account type is uh, what we want to choose. But for this case, it doesn't make much uh, sense to choose the account type. 
because I'm choosing the supply. Line. So here I go, if I click here, I can go directly to my supplier. So I have my BP here. I'm inside of my BP company codes and I have all the information of my BP. So another, another Fiori app. Um, here I have my company codes. We can add also, if I click there, we can add filters into to this um, layout. Let's choose, for example, account number and account type. Account number and account type are already in the layout. So if I want to move this column more to this part, I just need to drag and drop and I have the account number. And then here we have the account type, which is Kyle, which is for vendors. From here, when I click again here, I can, sh I can display a supplier balances or I can go to these other apps. Here are more links to other apps re related to the suppliers. Then in the journal entries, we can also do the same. I can click there and I can go and see my document itself. So this was the document, the invoice that posts this uh, amount that I, that I was not paid yet. So I have here the, the value. I'm going just to jump to the uh, SAP agreement. Uh, so to do the same, I have the document. I need to double click to enter in the document. I'm doing the same thing. And then from here, I can jump to my BP which I need to add here some information. So it's exactly the same thing, but I think the Fiori app is more user-friendly. user, user friendly. So this is the PP uh, transaction codes. If you are enjoying this video as me, please make a like to us. Yeah! Let's go back to the Fiori app, one step back. And then I think we can validate something here. Here we have the cleaning account. So if we see here, if I see here, I also have the cleaning account. So I want to ask you something. Please write in the comments if you really prefer to use the Fiori app or the transaction codes to display the line items of your vendor. For me, I really prefer the Fiori app. There is a topic here that we, we need to mention that if we select several lines, invoices of my vendor, and I decided this, these lines I want to block for payments, so I can do this in a row. I can choose the manual block for payments, and I'll put YouTube test. And then I click OK, and those, they get blocked. So when we go here, posting block, item, item payment block. So now we see that we have this item for payment block. We just put this number B. I'm going to enter in the journal entry. And then we can see the item of payment B manual payment block. So this was blocked by me during our example of tests. To unlock is also pretty simple. I can go there and then I go just need to unlock the payment and it's done. So this payment got unlocked. What else we can we do here? We can create a single payment from here. So this will take us to another Fiori app. I'm not, sh so this will take us to this Fiori app. I'm not going to make the payment now, which is not the proposal of this, uh, of this exercise, but it's just to show that we have this option that we can pay from here. Now you know how to display line items of vendors using a Fiori app or a transaction code in SAP S1 and system. Thanks for watching this video. You can find the next video in the description of this one. Please do not forget, subscribe to this channel to receive new videos on a weekly basis. See you in the next video.